What's going on guys, White Fox 1225 here, today we're going to be reviewing Battlefield 4. Uh, this is just a multiplayer review, I'll have my story mode review up pretty soon, but this is just a multiplayer. So the game comes with 10 maps, and the main feature in the, in the game really, and in all the maps, is Levolution. So Levolution is the map sort of changing as you play on it, and it's usually by player triggered events. So in Sanyo Shanghai, the skyscraper can fall, and instead of a fly being on the uh, big skyscraper, it's now in the uh, island of debris. Um, in Dawnbreaker, the sun rises, and you can see people better. There's also a bridge that can fall. Um, in Rogue Transmission, there's like a satellite thing that can fall. There's lots of... Every map has some sort of thing. Some of them are more subtle than others. But they're all there in every map, and some of them can be like really huge, like in Paracel Storm, a hurricane comes in halfway through, and a big boat can come crashing through the island. So I really do like Levolution, I think it's a great addition to the game, and I'm really glad DICE put it in the game. So now I'm going to talk more about the maps. The maps have a lot of nice verticality, there's lots of rooftop battles, a lot of times you're going to have to be looking above you as well as in front of you, and it's really cool, I'm really glad they put that in there. My major complaint about the maps is that they're mostly designed for Conquest, and that's understandable because Conquest is the most popular game mode, and in my opinion the best game mode, but Team Deathmatch and Domination are really sort of just thrown in there. They they take place on like edited versions of the map, and they're usually very small, and you can tell that they just took a chunk of a big map. They're really, in my opinion, very badly designed for a small arcade-ish shooter if you're playing like a Team Deathmatch or stuff. Not that Battlefield 4 is an arcade shooter, but if you're playing Team Deathmatch in a really small area, like a Call of Duty sized map, it feels like more like an arcade shooter. So, I'm really di kind of disappointed in that. It is something that carried over from Battlefield 3, but I would rather them like scrap Team Deathmatch and focus on other game modes that work with larger maps. Or see them actually make some maps that are specifically made for Team Deathmatch and, co and Domination. But unfortunately they didn't do that, and I think it really shows when you're playing Team Deathmatch or co uh, Domination. And it's one of my biggest complaints about the game. So going over on to balancing of kits and weapons, I feel like they did a really good job with balancing in Battlefield 4, way better than Battlefield 3. Unfortunately, Engineer and Assault are still going to be the go-to classes Assault is going to be really good for infantry combat, and Engineer is going to be dominant in vehicle heavy combat. Um, but they did make a lot of attempts to fix this, and I think they did fix it slightly, but it's still, some classes are still better than others. For example, they give the support class C4, which really helps the support class be more important. But I still feel like the recon class is very weak um, compared to the other classes. And I wish they would have worked harder on it, but I think they did work hard on it. It's just hard to really equal those classes out just because they're so different. But, you know, they did a better job, and I think definitely the recon class is better than it was in Battlefield 3. And I feel that the support class is definitely better than it was in Battlefield 3 too. But the medic and the engineer are still going to be uh, dominant in most maps. So, going on to commander mode. Commander mode is really awesome. I have gotten a chance to play, but I've mostly been playing with commanders, and it's really cool having orders. Um, from my experience, lots of squads and lots of players actually follow the orders of the commander, which is really nice. And that's just sort of because Battlefield has a really good community, and really mature gamers who aren't just going to run around and not listen to the commander. Um, and it really makes for really good gameplay when you have commanders telling you where to go. It really gets lets you see more action, it really gets you in, and you feel like you're making a difference on the battlefield, which is really awesome. So just a couple things that I wish they put in the game. I wish there was char character customization. This isn't really a negative thing, but I, f I know they let you customize like the camo you wear. I really wish you could have fully customized your character. I feel like that was a feature that should have been added. Um, a lot of the guns are recycled from Battlefield 3, so they are going to be the same. Not that they're the same models, but they are similar to the guns in Battlefield 3. I wish they added more new guns that we haven't seen before. This is sort of related to multiplayer, and there's no co-op in the game, which is really a big deal. I don't know why they didn't add one. Um, it's kind of confusing, but they didn't add one, and there's really nothing to talk about there just because they didn't add one. The only thing I could think of is that they were too focused on the multiplayer, but I really think they should have added a co-op, but um, 
you know, it's just one of those things that they're definitely not going to add, so it's not even worth talking about. Um, the graphics are better, the destructibility looks better when, like, a building's coming down, it does look better. So the graphics are better, I mean, not a huge step up from Battlefield 3, but they're definitely better, and definitely a lot, a big step ahead than other shooters in this, coming out this year. So, yeah, guys, that's my review for Battlefield 4, um, or the Battlefield 4 multiplayer. I'll have my story mode review up pretty soon, and I have some videos coming out on The Walking Dead this weekend, and a video on Elder Scrolls Online, so make sure you keep up with that. And if you are a Call of Duty fan, Monday night and Tuesday, I'll be having a first impression videos and reviews coming out on, about Call of Duty. So if you're interested in any of those videos, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.